guys, welcome again to Bellows Fry Factor. A little something different for you this morning. So I was really excited to see the release of the recital of the chivalric art of fencing of the Grand Master, Johannes Lichtenhauer. And you should be too. Um, so I wanted to share with you um, a reading from that. I'm just going to read the poem on the long sword. Um, so many special thanks to Michael Scheidester and Christian Henry Tobler um, and just Wichtenhauer and all the folks that are involved in that for putting this together and getting it freely and easily and readily into our hands um, to be able to use, to be able to peruse and enjoy and learn from. Um, thank you guys so much. If you haven't already downloaded your copy, check out the details below and I will place the link there. Um, and without further ado, Young knight, learn to love God and revere women. Thus your honor will grow. Practice knighthood and learn the art that dignifies you and brings you honor in wars. Be a good grappler in wrestling. Lance, spear, sword, and messer handle manfully and foil them in your opponent's hands. Strike in and hasten forth. Rush to, let it hit or go by. Thus those with wisdom, the ones who are revered, will envy him. This you should grasp. All arts have length and measure. This is a general teaching of the longsword. If you want to behold the art, see that you go on the left and strike with the right, and left to right is how you strongly want to fight. He who follows the strokes should rejoice little in his art. Strike close whatever you will. No changer will come into your shield. To the head, to the body, do not shun the tog hits. Fight with the entire body, what you powerfully want to do. Listen to what is wrong. Do not fight above on the left if you are right-handed, and if you are left-handed, on the right you limp as well. Before and after, these two things are to all skill a wellspring. Weak and strong, always remember the word instantly, so you may learn to work and defend with skill. If you are easily intimidated, no fencing should you learn. Learn five strokes from the right side against the opposition. Then we promise that your arts will be rewarded. Wrath stroke, crooked, thwart, squinter, and scalper. Fool parries chasing, overrunning, gives strokes. Change through, pull, run through, slice off, press the hands, hang, wind with the openings, strike, catch, slash, thrust with jabs. Who strikes at you above, the wrath stroke threatens him with the point. If he becomes aware of it, take it away above without fear. Be strong against it. Wind, thrust. If he sees that, take it down. Note this. Strike, thrust, posture, soft or hard, instantly and before and after. Your war should not be in haste. Who to the war tends above gets ashamed below. In all winding, learn to find stroke, thrust, and slice. Also, you should apply stroke, thrust, or slice in all encounters if you want to fool the masters. Four openings, no. Aim, so you hit certainly, without any danger, without regard for how he acts. If you want to avenge yourself, break the four openings with skill. Double above, transmute below correctly. I say to you truthfully, no one can defend himself without danger. If you have correctly learned, he will scarcely manage to strike. Crooked on him with nimbleness, throw the point on the hands. Who performs the crooked well with stepping, he hinders many a stroke. Strike crooked to the flats of the masters if you want to weaken them. When it clashes above, then move away, that I will praise. Don't do the crooked, strike short, changing through, show with this. Strike crooked to who irritates you, the noble war will confuse him, that he will not know truthfully where he can be without danger. The thwart stroke takes whatever comes from the roof. Thwart with the strong, note your work with this. Thwart to the plow, to the ox hard together. He who thwarts well with springing, he endangers the head. Whoever conducts the failure from below, he hits at his will. The reverser enforces the running through and also brings wrestling. The elbow takes certainly spring into his balance. Double the failure. If you hit, 
also make the slice. Twice further on, step to the left and do not be slow. The squinter breaks into whatever a buffalo strikes or thrusts. Who threatens to change through, the squinter robs him of it. Squint when he is short against you, changing through defeats him. Squint to the point and take the throat without fear. Squint to the head above if you want to damage the hands. The scalper is a danger to the face, with its turn very dangerous to the breast. Whatever comes from him, the crown will take it. Slice through the crown, thus you will break it hard through. Press the strokes, with slices pull them away. Four guards alone hold, and disdain the common. Ox, plow, fool, from the roof should not be unknown to you. Four are the oppositions that hurt the four guards very much. Beware of parrying. If it happens to you, it troubles you greatly. If you are parried, and when that has happened, hear what I advise to you. Tear away and strike quickly with surprise. Set upon the four ends. Stay upon them. Learn if you want to bring it to an end. Learn the chasing twice or slice into the weapon. Two outer intentions, the work after that begins. And test the attacks if they are soft or hard. Learn the feeling. The word instantly slices sharply. Chase twice. If you hit, do the ancient slice as well. Who wants to strike below, overrun him, and he will be shamed. When it clashes above, then strengthen. This I truly do praise. Do your work, or press hard twice. Learn to set aside, to skillfully hinder stroke and thrust. Who thrusts at you, your point hits and counters his. From both sides hit every time if you want to step. Learn the changing through from both sides, thrust with intent. Whoever binds to you, changing through will find him indeed. Step close in binding. The pulling provides good finds. Pull. If he meets, pull more. Find the work that will hurt him. Pull in all encounters against the masters if you want to fool them. Run through. Let hang with the pommel. Grasp if you want to wrestle. Who comes strongly at you, the running through then remember. Slice off the hard ones, from below in both attacks. Four are the slices, two below and two above. Turn your edge, press the hands to the flats. There are two hangings from one side from the ground. In all attacks, strike, thrust, posture, soft or hard. Do the speaking window, stand blithely and look at his actions. Strike him until he is defeated. When he withdraws from you, I say to you truthfully, no one protects himself without danger. If you have learned this, he can scarcely manage to strike. Who conducts well and breaks properly and finally makes it all right and splits particularly everything into three wounders, who properly well hangs and also executes the windings, and the eight windings views in a righteous way, and each one of those same winds I consider to be triple, so they are twenty-four, and count them only from both sides. Eight windings learn with stepping, and test the bind no more than soft or hard. Thus ends the reading of the longsword section from the recital of the chivalric art of fencing of the Grand Master Johannes Lichtenauer, as translated by Christian Henry Tobler, and put forth by Wichtenhauer, including Michael Chidester and many others. Thank you for listening. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation. Have a wonderful day. Now go and learn these arts.